I'm going to add some coke to this, see what that does. Yeah, I was wondering. Oh, we should have put that part in the review. Yeah, whatever. The headbanging <clears throat> coke so, jack. So this is headbanging jack. This is the Kahlua jack and, and coke. coke. Give it a shot. Uh, okay. That's horrible. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. It's like mixing coffee and coke. It tastes like flat coke and jack. I'm going to give headbanging jack a, a just... Headbanging jack. I'm going to give it one rock. <laughs> It's not I'll, give it, I'll give it a rock. Yeah. It, it's about as bad as the other. So now we're on to 4.5 or 3.5, whatever he decides to do. Slag and Sludge is a pair. Snarl and Center Twin is a pair because they're actually a shared mold. I don't see anything similar between the two. Most of the figures that compose Bominus actually are the Dinobots. Well... He's drunk, too. Center Twin and Snarl, who incidentally is my favorite Dinobot. I wasn't able to get Center Twin for the Abominus review. <laughs> That's why Prowl was there, and I don't know why I didn't use Sunstreaker, because he's yellow and actually would have been a much better substitute, and he's sort of been the horror of my combiners as it is. He's been <laughs> a part of every combiner. I like him. He just looks cool. It's like a robot dinosaur. Like, it's every child's it's... dream to own a dinosaur, and, th like, a robot dinosaur would be that much cooler. Uh, that just might be because it's older. Like, the joints are a little bit loose. You know, he's new. I got him this oh. year. Okay, his joints are a little bit loose. So, you said they're mold brothers, mold twins. I was imagining, like, they have the same... Some of like the same parts, and I don't see. In anything some the cases, same. that's true. We've got our robot torso right here, mm -hmm. and the legs fold back right here. Right so they here. transform similarly. Yes. That's where I was a little bit confused, but that's because I'm still so new to transformers. And this figures. is a new concept that we're all trying to like choose whether or not to embrace. I like this figure just because it's a, a, a robot and a and a dinosaur all in one, and I'm. That should be a, I don't know if this is a canon, but that should be a canon. I've got my own personal sub-faction of head canon characters. There are mm -hmm. very few Transformers whose heads or headal areas become canons. Is that a canon? Is that supposed to be a canon? No, it's his, it's his uh, HFG port. Well, that needs to be a canon. A five rocks deal right there. For the longest time, we mm -hmm. never got a Dinobot combiner. Mm -hmm. The closest thing we got was Grimstone, whom I love. But he's a well, power core combiner, which uh, in essence, power core combiners suck. But I really like the way he looks. We don't have to review him. I he brought reminds him... me of, um, who's the guy that had, like, the weird appendages? Not him, the other combiner. Oh, the other Abominus? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I hate it. He reminds me of him because he has, like, these weird extra limbs here. And, well, like, the shoulders come out real wide like that. The, the, the problem with the power core combiners when they were released is that this is an automorphing limb. And it doesn't have a robot mode. Okay. It's just a Parasaurolophus that becomes an arm. The middle guy has a robot mode, but the other four do not. For the longest time, this was, in cold hard plastic, the co closest thing to a Dinobot combiner we had. What? His junk has the Autobot symbol on it. It does. <laughs> <laughs> He's peeing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's yellow. Why was that the universal like noise for peeing when you were a kid? The pss noise. Because that's the sound a hose makes. Is it? Like, like a your hose. Thumb on a hose, it's like. Pshh. Okay, if you put your thumb over it, I guess yeah. Because children associate things that are similar I guess. together. So you're it is a hose. Well, it is. It's also a gun. <laughs> why do you think guns are shaped the way they are? Oh my god, we're so gonna get, like, so much shit for that. I like what they do with the tail. So, like, Center Twins, like, ass does this weird shit here. But what they do here is, and they're working with a dinosaur, They ha so they have a thicker tail to work with, right. but they incorporate it in his ass. Okay, yeah, like, in his it, butt. It, Sorry, I, I forgot you're editing no, you, this. No, ass is fine. Ass is ass, okay. So they inc tell, yeah. Rather than having this weird thing here. The stygial, like. Like the fat tail into the, like the little itty like, bitty tail. Like almost tails. like he was born with tails but shouldn't have been. Right. Which I understand because they're working with a different animal with this. Well, I mean, that's not what I would call an animal. Like a real one. Because they could have done anything. Well, that. okay, I thought this was like a double-headed saber tooth with horns, so n never mind. Every time I get a new Sinner Twin toy, or in this case, you know, Twin Strike from Transformers Prime, 
He's always my favorite. And, like, I just got the Sinner Twin a few days ago, and I don't even want to make him a part of Abominus. Like, I, I left Sunstreaker on there mm. when I put him on the shelf because you can't really see it, and I just... I really like playing with him. He, he really doubles down on the two-headed dragon thing that, that Hunger failed so much at. Hunger. What this has that makes it look better than Hunger, in my opinion, is that it doesn't have this weird fucking thing where the heads come out here and, like, the giant chest thing. The pregnant belly. The pregnant belly. Um, he was pregnant with little Terra babies. <laughs> thing here like that see is... that doesn't bother me at all that's just you know it did a thing I, i'm used to transforming just having some his hiv so. port is showing again <laughs> <laughs> i i like this one a lot better uh what's his name scrape scrape uh, scrap scrap actually scrape. it's funny they both start with s They're they all start with s they both share the the transformation scheme and they both ultimately are always my favorites the terracons really incorporate the prime armors really well. I actually modified Blot, so his prime armor fits a little better, so I'm not going to talk about him. I really like the way Ripper Snapper incorporated it. I like how it like went with the fins and added a lot of weight to the figure, but Sinner Twin, I think, pulls it off the best. I don't know why. That looks really fierce to me. I mean, I stuck the gun on there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Is the gun supposed to be on there? Well, there's a port for it there. Okay. So, so kind of. At least these combiners are trying to take steps to incorporate them into the bigger design. As opposed to, like, Snarl, where there's nowhere to put this. Wait, this legitimately has no place to go? Like, you could you could plug it into Wait, his... Wait, he can put it in his butthole. <laughs> now he's pregnant. Bro is rocking it. You ruined Slag. Great sorry, job. Sorry, Slag. I actually like you, so I'm going to take this out of your butthole now. I know the Prime Armor, like, this one, I think, pulls it off the best... Because, like, the car modes, you could kind of tack it on. And, like, that looks cool, but you can tell Robot in Disguise is kind of thrown out the window at this point. With the animals, it's at least like, okay, you can use it to make them look more weaponized or fierce. Mm -hmm. um, I actually kind of like that. Of course, it looks very DeLorean-esque. He just said, is that a DeLorean? No. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not a DeLorean. If I ever get down to it and I'd have to really want it, but mm -hmm. to, like, custom a DeLorean out of one of these with all the... Dude, just paint it silver. Like, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> just do it, man. Just do it, man. You have a 3D printer, don't you? Man, everyone thinks that I could just, like, make a Death Star with my 3D I printer. I know it takes a lot. Like an actual <laughs> planet-destroying Death Star. I know it takes it's a lot. so hard. I know I... it takes a long time. I understand that. But, like, that would be so cool. I want a Tumblr Batmobile Transformer more than I want a wife. <laughs> Joy, don't watch this. Wait, she late. watched that part where I was like with the alcoholism destroying marriages and she was just like <laughs> everybody so needs a nerd wife like I got a nerd wife. Yeah, I can't find one apparently. Um It's so soft. <laughs> I understand. These are transformers, you have to make compromises. That's how it is. Yeah. You just suck it up, eat your dick, and move on with your life. <laughs> but I am very particular, and that's my preference. Well, you, okay, you're more uh, in line of, like, someone who would collect spawn figures, where you like them more as statues. Yes, yeah. like, I like them just chilling You there. like them almost like you like posters, like you would like a poster in yeah. that, in that. They're a 3D poster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Suck it up, eat your guy on left 2018. <laughs> I like him with the prime armor. That's my point. I think it he... makes him look more balanced. It makes him look more balanced. It makes him look intimidating, though. Like, because I put the thumbs up. So <laughs> really excited with like, that. Like, I just, I, I don't know, man. Sinner twin. He's like a, and um, it, and a pit bull. It... Yes. He's got that like that. beefy. Like, what's that bulldog's name from the cartoons? And he had like the little bulldog baby that was so cute. I almost ate my face off as a child. Oh, like his son was the bulldog. Yeah, and well, he oh, was he too, is too, yeah. but he was built like a mother. Mm -hmm. Like. Like, that's what he is. He's that guy. Don't I do, screw I do. with his baby! <laughs> Slag and Sludge? Slag and Sludge. Slag is like the fan favorite, whereas personally, I'm, I'm a well, Snarl fan. I, thing is, am a Triceratop. Tri 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 Triceratop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said that as a kid. I am a Triceratops fan. It's not articulative. This is the cheaper mold. Like, these mold brothers are cheaper than, than the Slag Brontosaurus, I would say. 
but I like them better, despite, like, the fact that <laughs> I'm afraid to transform them. <laughs> why do my hands destroy like everything? Honestly, this is why... <laughs> This is what sold me on Snarl, was his head cannon. Like, the fact that I love, love, love Triceratops... Should knock him up a couple pegs. Or but a it's couple not. Inches. It's not selling me on him. Does it have his head? No, his head does not become a cannon. And there's a head in his head. A head in his head! Head. 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 Welcome head. to most G1 transformations. You can kind of mistransform him, and it gives him a little bit more definition with the frill. And it I like that better. Yeah, most people do. I don't like either one of these, just because they don't articulate as much as what I want. Now, that's... now this coming from the guy that prefers their figures to be statues. I, we're talking about Transformers. Okay. My statues, they don't move. They're intended. <laughs> they're to intended be... to be statues. The thing about Beast Modes is a lot of times they're bricks. Same with this. Like, he has this long-ass neck. Mold brother. And... Try and open it. <laughs> There's a head in his head! There's a head in his head! Oh, his mouth opens? That's isn't that, pathetic. Isn't that BS? Center twin. Oh yeah, his mouth opens. <laughs> a lot. He's got two of them. Garbage. Recyclable garbage. <laughs> but, no, <laughs> but that's only because it's a triceratops. Do you see how these two are the same mold? Because these actually have the exact same... They have the same ass. ...back piece here. They have the same ass. They have very similar... Asses. So they have the same back pieces. Asses. Similar backs. Ass. Very similar track. Ass. Like the front legs. Same so. asses. So he wants to say asses again. Ass. And we're going to move on to the robot. It's like they went to the same plastic surgeon. Assiversity. Pl same, Assiversary. Same plastic surgeon to get their ass blown up. Yeah. Like, uh, what's her name? You won't know. Basketball butt. Sure. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, yep. Or a Kardashian. A one, Kardashian. Of, one of the Kardashians? Yep. The one that cried? So, oh my god. We're going down to the robot modes of Snarl and Sinner Twin as I mix myself up in another adult beverage. So, Sinner Twin catches my eye more because of the color. That's the first thing I notice. <laughs> We're gonna keep doing that. But I love this ornament. Yes! That is, a, that yes! is gorgeous. Yes! Um, so... That's one of the big reasons I like Snarl. That and the noise he makes with his nose. I can't do it, but G1 fans know what I mean. I like Snarl's shoulder ornament. His polders? Is his that what it's called? Polders? What? Sh the, the, the shoulder things. What's a polder? Polder. I don't think that's real. And I'm starting to wonder if you are. Oh. His arms move decently. Well, it's those. It's the back legs. They're ball joints. They're ball joints. Not ball joints. joints. Ball, ball joints. joints. He's got uh, uh, those old school pants. Bell bottoms. Bell bottoms for legs. Like, look at those things. He looks so much, so much cooler than he does from the front. It's very Better. toy from the front and a little bit more artistic and intricate on the back. Sure. I like art. No, you don't. Shut up. His face is very... Mm. Like, he's like... Mm. I would gladly pay you Tuesday for an <laughs> Energon burger today. I like the colors of this. The hips articulate a lot. Like, you can make him do the splits. Well, he, he can do the same thing. Oh, can he? I don't know. I found that out with this one, okay? Mold Brothers. So... So thin he falls over. So with um, Smolder, Snarl. Smolder would be a great Dinobot. <laughs> he has like the the back half. It's really cool. A lot of or or ornaments going on. Whereas this one, his plainness plays to his advantage on the front side. It just looks very soldier esque. I, I like him quite a bit, quite a lot, quite a, quite a lot, quite a bit. <laughs> He, he just has that stoicism to him. Stoicism. I know words. That's a good word. That's a good That's word. That's the biggest word I've ever heard you use. But doesn't he look stoic? He does. I don't know if this is the case, but I feel like he should be a fan favorite of the Terracons. Because every time I get my hands on one of his toys, I'm just immediately sold on it. Like, mm -hmm. my biggest complaint about this one is because they had to pander to the G1 design... His arms don't become dragon heads. <laughs> <laughs> For what he is, he's really cool. He's just enough. 
I, I don't know the colors, and I'm not a fan of yellow. Yellow is probably my least favorite color. Mm -hmm. um, well, the, it works well with the green. See, I would call that teal or blue. That's green. We're going to have this argument again. Yep. With an Abominus toy. <laughs> Always with the Abominus toys. We're going to go back to the Prime Armors. Once again, to me, Sinner Twin rocks it like a pro over everyone else. And I know this doesn't really like, necessarily look like anything, but I was playing with this today, and I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, maybe it's a shoulder shield, but maybe, maybe this plays into the Prime Armors better than anyone else. A Prime Master Bludgeon. I would imagine a Master being bigger. In, in Power of the Primes, they turn into Enigmas. You take out his little laser gun, and he can hold it, and you put the Prime Master inside, and what if that gave his little gun some sort of power? I like it because, like, what it's doing is it's, it's, it's taking this laser, which is from his Prime Armor, and enhancing it with the Prime Master? That's just an idea right, I had. Right. I don't know if that's part of the toy line. That's just, like, I was playing with it today, and I was like, man, like, that'd be cool if, like, the Prime Master's, like, anti-grav powers. They all come with these cards, and, like... Does anyone do these collector cards? Like, what if this was an actual card game? Mm -hmm. Like, how? Like, I wish that somebody would have come up with this idea at Hasbro before Combiner Wars, so that all the Combiner Wars toys could have come with this, like, theoretical card game. Because you buy your favorite figure, and it comes with this card, you put it in the game, and then you can make combiners, or make different headmasters, with different powers or abilities, and actually have a card game that to plays in with the toy line, and it just comes with the toys. It's like, if Naruto has taught me anything, or Pokemon has taught me anything, that people will go nuts for a good card game. Because otherwise, these cards, like, who keeps them? And I might keep this just because I really like the artwork on the front. It's pretty cool. Like, it's good-looking artwork, but usually I grab one, I keep it for a couple of months until I find it again. I'm like, I don't need that. I'm throwing it out. So Now it's gone. Now it's gone. We got because... a rock and robot between them now that we're at the uh, beat, uh, robot forms. Oh, rock and robot. I thought you meant like rock and robots. Rock em, sock em. Rock em, sock em. I will give him three uh, robots and three and a half robots. I'm giving them both three. I, I really like them both a lot. Mm -hmm. um, there are way better Transformers out there. But I don't know, I just really enjoy I've almost got nostalgia for him just because of how much I liked Prime Abominus. So, like, he's kind of cashing in on that, even though Prime Abominus came long after. Slag and Sludge. No. I don't like either one of them. What? What is this thing? It's a thing. hood? Now it matches the G1 transformation really well. Like, you have this cool... I like his torso. I like... I would like this if it was more of, like, a collar rather, rather than, than, like, a hood. his head, yeah. Yeah. Well, if it became a rocket. And like flew it, the like fuck out of Iron here. Man, like, yeah. Iron Man from uh, Infinity War. Like, if his legs came together and a rocket, like, the, yeah, that would be cool. Also, he reminds me of... Uh, what's his name? It's from Overwatch. He's, like, this dude that skates... Whatever, you don't know who he is. Slag is slag. not a number one on your top he's ten. He's slag. Hit list. Yeah, okay, he's slag. Both in the terms of crap metal and horse. I don't like either one of them. But here's who I really don't like. Okay, this is considerably worse. Remember how Megatron had the T Rex head hand? There are a lot of Transformers who will throw their beast mode heads on their backs. I don't know why. The brontosaurus head is just so visually offensive. Head Hasbro, cannon. get on that. Thank you for auto censoring <laughs> yourself. Because this looks just so stupid. He's still got the entire sides of his of beast mode and the entire head of his beast mode. And then the legs are just sticking straight up. Like on Slag, they fold it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But on his, they're just sticking up like, oh, bring a mortis. I'm dead. Shoot me already. His kibble's coming off even. Of all things, even the kibble's like, this kibble's is like, so bad. get away from me. <laughs> it's got this garbage 
dumb looking head. I, I like his helmet. I hate his face. But I'm trying to find something good about this toy. Yeah, like. he's not. That's the thing. I'm stretching really, really hard. I'm going to give Slag a good old two robots and Sludge, whose name I always forget because I don't like him. I've never liked him, and this toy is not helping that case. Two rocks. He's not in stores right now, so I know you're not going to go rush out and reason. not buy him. Three rocks for him, and I'll give him, I'll give him a robot for two reasons. He has potential, and he's a tr Triceratops. So we're kind of reviewing this figure just to get it out of the way. So he reminds me of the Mecha Godzilla. Tail is awful. Can I just ignore that? My hands wrap around his tail. That's how big his tail is. And he's a f***ing toy. I have, I have big hands. And my hand... We, we actually that, like, measured handle. his hand against, like, the Hulk hands that are out in stores right now. And they're, like, three-fourths the size. Like, they're, they're almost too, the same size Your as hands Hulk are hands. too big, Will. I, I feel sorry for the women you've been with. <laughs> they aren't sorry. Uh, I like how far his mouth opens. Not for reasons. <laughs> hate to sludge. That does nothing. See, you can tell Sludge secrets because he can't. Because he can't, can't tell, tell anything, anything else. Damn mouth don't open. <laughs> you have these straight legs that just go straight down, and they're boring. And you there's can, no character to them. You can kind of do the dog leg thing that a T Rex should have. So Grimlock has always had the Dino leg becomes my arm thing. A T Rex legs becomes your arms. What are your legs made of? But that tail. It's it's like Kim Kardashian like. <laughs> Like, we I'm going to make this the big. big. There's more to him than the tail. Just like there's more to women than their vagina. Yeah. Take that line and go up. I like everything. I guess I'll give him one rope. So he's a positive. One rope. Middle of the of the road. This thing yeah. will not clip together. I hate this damn toy so much. Sludge is garbage. That looks like something from. Uh... Dinosaurs. No, the labyrinth. Let's <laughs> see. See? That's not from Labyrinth, that's Dark Crystal. Oh, Dark Crystal, you're right. You love Dark Crystal, how'd you get the name wrong? Because it's the same guy that made it, Jim Henson. Jim Henson, um, scares me? Jim Henson, come back to life, please. No, please don't you scare me enough as it is. Wow, this took way less time than it should have. So this is Grimlock's Robin. That was actually really fast. I know! <laughs> His arms are crossed, though. His arms are crossed. His bitty, itty bitty arms. His little bitty, in the back. itty bitty arms. Oh, they came off. <laughs> um, that's my fault. I kind of shaved them for my own version of the robot mode that isn't official. Focus. <laughs> Even though I've technically already reviewed Slash, she's going up there. Are these are nippers, nipples. I mean, yeah. Despite the fact that Slash is a new character. And her name is Slash. They gave her nothing to Slash with, so I have given her Prime Wheeljack swords. Dinobot, what? The head. What is it? It's a visor with a mouth plate and a helmet. Yeah, cut it off. He's like a SWAT team member. My butt hurts. <laughs> That's not my fault. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> Take his head. His head sucks. And apply it to that. See now, Grimlock's head is cool. What's his name? Grimlock. Grimlock. Why is he named Grimlock? Because the 80s... Does he lock up Grims? I like posability. Like, I ha I like having the ability to make them do what I want them to do. <laughs> I like control. Do like, you grab them by the... Nozzles? HFG hole? But, but I like having the ability to, like, sit them on things if I want. Even though he's not wanting to sit right now. <laughs> I am struggling so hard. Grimlock is dead. <laughs> you poor guy. After all attempts by the Decepticons. <laughs> one who did it was William F You. Me. William F the You. A lot of detail. Except for his chest piece and his face. I have a little bit of a fan mode version of this. A little bit of an open jacket look. Did you feel that? I felt that. I think China felt that. It doesn't work perfectly, but I feel like it incorporates it's more of like the kibble. Funny. 
don't eat Burger King, you'll die on the inside. But I like that. It gives him sort of the open jacket, not necessarily Fonzie look, but... I like him. I like him better this way because it's... It adds texture, Some definition, depth. some yeah. I, like, there's I don't more know how to, to define what I'm trying, to, what I'm seeing here. I had to shave off the top of the socket joint so that the, the beast mode hands could get up high enough to do that, and, and the whole thing could work together. Well, what I'm afraid of is that like when I move, oh, yes, so, it'll yeah, pop that. out. Yes, it's a little bit flimsier, but it looks cool. It does look so, a lot. Rule cooler. of cool versus rule of posability. You, you know what it reminds me of, um, Marty. McFly? Marty McFly. Are we going back to Back to the Future? <laughs> My big critique are the face and the chest piece. So when you change the chest piece, that gets rid of one of the, the big critiques that I have for him. I'm going to say four either way, because it's a good Grimlock. I've never had a Grimlock toy. I enjoyed this toy. So without the change here, um, I will give it a three and a half. With the change, four. Keep in mind, for me to get a five, I have to like run off screen and, and finish and fap myself, okay? Swoop. Uh, uh, what, what is this garbage for a face? So he's a pterodactyl. Yeah, but he's like a balled up pterodactyl. He's not like a cool, like, ha <laughs> ha pterodactyl. He's like a. And I want to eat you right now, Pterodactyl. <laughs> you just showed so many fucking emotions right now. And I don't even know what my eyes are focused on right now. Let me help you. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you just... feel very similarly to this toy that you did to Cutthroat. It's so different. It's it's like so hard to compare them. And this like, is yes. where that whole remolding thing comes in. It feels like a completely different toy, doesn't it? Yeah, well, like yes. You can you, barely tell it's the same. You've got wings. But you see and where that's the, it. You see where the robot arms do the exact same thing? There we go. So I hit the button, there. right? Potentially. So, uh, this thing's been falling over so much. A robot and a half? Aww. You have wings for each of them. That's the only similarity between the two. As far as um, you can tell. Uh, well, I mean. What else is the same? These legs kind of fold up and make him perch. Yes. Whereas his legs fold up and then he has separate legs that make him stand up. And I don't know if you remember I said that, that Swoop didn't have that tail that Cutthroat had. For you, I just... This fat tail that nobody loves. Swoop doesn't have that and no. he works a little bit better, doesn't he? Um, A little bit because he looks like a... a it looks like he's perched. It looks like he's perching on something. Tell me he's almost not cute. No. If he wasn't a robot, a robot, if he wasn't a transformer, he'd be fluffy probably. So yes, if, if he was fluffy, he would be a lot more cute. As far as beast mode, there's nothing going on. Okay, you can make the wings go out more and the, make the wings come in more. You can make the jaw go up and down and that's it. Which is more than slag. Brontosaurus? Yes, long head. See, I like Swoop because bird transformers so rarely work out, and this guy actually pulls it off. Yeah, he's not great, and he can't really... I mean, you could kind of get him in a flying pose. A tumor flying co pose. What's his name? Terraform? Terraform? I don't know. There is Terrorsaur from Beast Wars. I'm losing track at this point. A robot and a half. I'm going to give him a, a solid three just because he pulls off the beast mode very well. Swoop in his robot mode. Let me clear my brain palette. I like how they incorporate the wings. Like, even as a pterodactyl, it didn't even just... It just didn't look right at all to me. It just looked kind of thrown together. So the, the head doesn't articulate hardly at all. I like what it, the arms do, do, but not necessarily so much what the wrists do, per usual with Transformers. I feel like swooping Cutthroat feel cheaper. He feels like a little guy, even though he's the same size class. Yeah, he's got a lot going for him for his size. Three robots. We are going to get into the main reason I wanted to do this review. It's not a new toy. It's not from this toy line. It's from Combiner Wars. We are going to look at Combiner Wars Skyhawks.